Hey, what's going on YouTube? Your homeboy Dorito. Another day, another video. What we have here, we're doing the head gasket, installing the head and everything on a Dodge Chrysler 2.4. If you go under the hood, at the 2.4 right there, this one happened to be a. Let's clean this up. Happened to be a 2008. 2008. Let me show you what type of car we we're dealing with. It's gonna be the same thing with the. Any 2.4s. Oh, bam. So I believe this is uh, the Avenger. I know it's not the one for marble. Okay, straight to the point. I want to show you the Tammy marks. Tammy marks. We're going to have the pistol number one all the way up. And then on the sprockets, we're going to have two grooves. They're going to be kind of flat, like lines. Uh, those are red paint uh, put that is so, so we can see it sorry see there's a little mark in there a groove and groove on the other side too so it's too hard to be pointing your timing mark is going to be the circle there's a little stamp which is, looks like a circle in there and a little circle on the other side boom if you see from far if you guys want me to count the links let's count it all the way from the marking with the markings I did the red markings on your chain, you're gonna have a color links. Uh, mines were black or darker than the regular ones. But we're gonna go ahead and uncount the links. Let's count it. It's gonna be start from the dot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. From that to that, seventeen links. Counting only the ones from the middle. Don't count the top. Only these ones right here. You don't. Ha you don't have to count the the links because your timing chain it has three different color links. But if you guys want to make sure, yeah, seventeen from that to the other dot, and then those two flats pointing each other. Right now they're a little bit off because they're moved. The tension on the tension in the bottom. So those are the ones for the camshaft. That that seventeen links. Those two grooves on the flat pointing on the bottom one for the crank you guys can see in there you see the color link is black or darker a painted red and then on the crank you see that that is an incision there which is a which is a, a little dot in there that grew in there that's the one so I also painted red so that's a dot on the color link and then good to go I already have the tensioner the guides and everything so don't forget that piston all the way up color link into the groove of the little uh, dot in the crankshaft and then the camshafts or that that and then those two is like a, that, those are lines this is a gross as a line line in that line there I just painted I painted them so you guys can see it better and of course better for me now that you did this something I do is to make sure I plug the spark plug holes they're not gonna have spark plugs remove spark plugs and plug those with the glove or with the piece of black or bags back there back in there back in there back in there spin the engine and they should the, uh, the compression should spit out the the plastic like boom 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 so those are the tummy marks and uh, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and, and film that part too so you guys can see how I check and how I make sure they're in compression but those are the timing marks for the 2.4 any 2.4 if you see those camshaft you need this timing now let me show you how, how to check the compression okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna plug the holes I have some old gloves in here we're gonna plug this in push it in you're gonna do the same thing on every single cylinder all the way down all the way down all the way down and then you're gonna go on the I'm missing one more let me plug one more okay so all the holes from the spark plugs are plugged we're gonna go ahead and install the crank bolt you're gonna use a 22 millimeter socket so you can spin the engine around uh, we should be able to see the the gloves 
uh, coming off. Well, as you guys were able to see, the four gloves came up. That's how I check the compression. That's how I make sure we're on time. So at this point, we're on time. Cool. Thank you for watching.